We got action. Let's get there. King Queen. Put the jack out there. That's why we wait for it. That's why we wait. I've not played live in uh, at least a month, whenever the last vlog was. Just when I had some uh, visitors in town staying at the Bellagio, seemed like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, tight stats, 2.5 open, makes me believe he's not going to have a raised folding range. We're about to get that full double. Hold on, guys. Let's hold. Big double. Boom! Jack, 10, suited? Justice, baby, I told you I'd get you, baby. See you soon, see you soon, you come to my house. Uh, very loose player opens. We got queen 10 in the big, seven handed, defend. Flop the open ended. Uh, I'm gonna check, he's gonna bet two big blinds, I'm gonna call. not I think a half pot bet is better than a check call gives us a chance to win although he's not going to be folding that often and we can always hit the river speaking of hitting the river Whoop, there it is. Uh, we're gonna go with the half pot sizing. Uh, it does leave him some hope to value jam in case he does have two pair like King Jack. Or a trapped aces. Let's get that double. I'm greedy. Shove it in there. Trapped with aces and now you wanna get paid? Boom! Kings! Set no good. Third nuts. Got him. Ocho's uh, slam dunk call here. Let's hold. Keep it low. Oh, there's the eight. Got him. 13 remain. Nice little flip. And we got some action. We got them tens. Uh, my gut says I'm not gonna like it if he jams. Uh, so I should figure, okay. Come on, what would William Wallace do? Got him. You play that as bad as you can. Your career is finished. You are gone, gone, gone. All right. So, uh, with more chips, we're going to try to use our chips. I think we can check this. Bluff catch. Let's see, we could bet flop. Hope we have the best hand, fold out equity. Or we can check back. Rep ace high, which we effectively have ace high, and bluff catch. A um, lot of draws out there. We don't block any of them. So we're going to call and call most rivers. Uh, that's not a good river. 
10 8 gets there queen 10 gets there king 10 gets there that's uh 48 combos we got sixth pair uh the hands we beat would be seven eight and we do beat seven eight you got seven eight bro probably not and we fold Uh, we're going to be min raising most things. Thought about typing in 2.2 in some situations. Button isn't one of them. Probably doesn't matter too much. The plan was to raise call this player. So we're going to stick with the plan unless he comes along, then we're going to fold. Good luck, Ace 10 suited. Six-handed. No! No! I mean, we were, what, 92% on the flop? Oh, 97% on the flop. Uh, new CPU fan overheating. Need a new graphics card. Uh, no computer advice in the chat, please. Got it taken care of. We'll be done next week. Uh, someone busted at the other table. We're about to be hand for hand. If this guy holds up, we're going to be at the final table, and that means it's giveaway time. Uh, queens are... Well, I, don't count out Queen Jack here. Okay. Okay. Wow. Queen Jack did not get there. And we're at the final table with them Ochos. Hello. Uh, kind of knew this guy was uh, Brazilian for some reason. Rivera. Where's that red tag at? Just comes out swinging first hand at FT. Story checks out. All right, with ICM position, stuff like that. I think a uh, pretty standard call. Flop an eight and get paid type of scenario. Okay. Could peel, set mine and turn, but uh, probably too optimistic. Tens are good until a jack comes. Good call, and he's out. Pay jump. Three six suited. Entrance, yeah, entrance. That's right, entrance. Spell check changed it to entrance, like the opposite of an exit. Uh, yeah. Hey, you guys like open folds? You guys like, who's your favorite DJ? Paul Openfold? To sync up with Twitch. Might be difficult. I actually saw this happening. Uh, the speed of this makes me think he's pretty strong. Because I think um, he's like, oh, this is an automatic three bet versus tank. And he's asking, uh, you know, some Brazilian buddies, hey, what should I do? Should I Vamu on him or not? Um, but just as the plan is, this hand is just too strong to put into our raised fold range. We have to take a stand. Uh, we got to play to win. He's the most likely to three bet us light. So we're going in. Good luck us. He's got room to fold. Uh, so with stack distribution, a couple shorties, short, uh, we're going to open muck sevens, fun game, I know, I know, I know, uh, he's going to tank min rays, yeah. I was introduced to the Kirby's and the Cutco's as a high school senior where they knew the kids were impressionable and they wanted to make some money over the summer, but just a big, uh, what is it? what's the difference between Multi-level marketing and pyramid scam. Is that the same thing? Uh, we're going to ISO the shorty. Take him out. And then we'll be seven-handed. Ace on the turn. And the queen. Got him. 
You play that as bad as you can. Your career is finished. You are gone, gone, gone. Got to win those flips. Blinds are up. Wow. Set over set. Just bet calls. <laughs> wow. Vamanus. Ja, 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 ja. Is that racist? Hope that's not racist. And we get a pay jump. Uh, another shorty on the cutting blocks. Speaking of Cutco. 500 viewers. All right. Queen 10 looking good. Eight all day. Wow. This guy waited for King 3. Will it be on two seconds? Yeah, three seconds. Balances his min raise any two timing. So weird. So weird. And they're out. Fives versus ace three. Running like the sun, that's fine. Uh, I'll go heads up versus the Brazilian with a eight to one chip disadvantage. Sign me up. Uh, could be a case to jam there. Could be too risky. Three deuce. Gets there. And we're now four handed. All eyes on him to lose next. So, yeah. Okay. Quick min raise. Uh, hopefully, we get to see this one. Should. Probably jack seven off or something. What the fuck? What was that? Uh, well, not folding this one. Oh, baby. Perfect timing. This is why we wait for it. Big hold. Let's get this three-handed. Second in chips, three-handed. Sounds good to me. Standard chop situation. Uh, we really want to widen the gap against these two stacks. So jamming on when they're both in the blinds is perfect. And he shouldn't be incentivized to calling me lightly if he's raised folding off a seven blind jam. We got action. Let's get there. King, queen. Put the jack out there. There's the jack. Big double. No more coolers for you, Vamu. Five, Jack, and he's out. Wow, sucks out again, that's fine. Now three-handed. Pay jump, uh, $1,537 locked up. 3340 for the victory. Let's get there. Queen! Oh my god. Doubles first hand. On a pure flip. Alright. Never said it was going to be easy. Let's go for the trap. Get a little greedy with it. Probably should have trapped the ace 10 last time. Got him! Big hold! Yes! Hook, line, and sinker. He could not control himself. He couldn't fathom that I was capable of trapping. Unfathomable. Put some ace X in our 3 xing range. He's probably going to want to fight back soon. He can feel his chip lead slipping away. 
and uh, yeah. he's going to have a lot of hands that interact with this region of the flop. Uh, we're going to try to disguise our hand a bit. Uh, he's going to overvalue a lot of hands and probably not put us on an ace. Uh, he checks. He's going to have a you know a weak showdown value hand like eight nine. So we're going to go for a little value on the turn. No, actually we're going to trap. We're going to go with check call. We're just going to set the trap. If he wants to step in the trap, we're game. Uh, so this is probably a thin value bet with a ten or an eight. Uh, all we can do is hope he doesn't like hit two pair or trips on the river and continue to underrep our top pair. Mm, right, possibly as a 10. It's possible. It's also possible he has a hand like 9-7 or queen 9. If you want to learn about gold, I guess you can follow Peter Schiff. Uh, probably the most uh, <laughs> biased gold shill in the universe. He might sell you some gold. That's uh, beneficial for him. And as planned, we're going to put in the call. Just balancing our timing a bit here. Queen 7 offsuit. Hook, line, and sinker. And all of a sudden, we have the chip lead. Pretty hand in the big blind. He has been folding his button a lot, which is uh, unexpected. Uh, pretty easy value raise here. Keep it simple, 3x. Top pair. Uh, flush draw. I'm gonna go with a half pot sizing. Not sure what he's thinking about. Oops. Hopefully he's got a king. Oh, he's disconnected. Uh, not the best turn. I can think of other turns. Uh, not sure how much ace-x he's limping. And how many flush draws he's just check calling, but as played we're going to check. Evaluate some uh, non-spade rivers. It's a pretty good river. Less likely as an ace. Uh, I don't think he's limp calling 4-5 too often. Small blocker bet indicates king-x. But I don't think we can raise for value. Obviously never folding, so we just call. He did have the uh, Miracle Ace-4. Okay. Big pot there. Unfortunate. 3x. Hopefully he makes it 8.5 blinds. Eight 8.5, you can do it. Or, or just rip your Ace-4. Stick it in there. Let's bust him with Alan Jackson. He does call. Uh, it's a pretty good flop for us. Going to continue with a half pot sizing. With a uh, variety of holdings. I do expect him to continue uh, high frequency as well. Tesla's good. Alex, dad. Thanks for asking. Uh, interestingly small raise here. He's trying to rep like two pair. Just wonder what his frequency of semi-bluffing a straight draw is versus... Gut shot. What gut shots would he have? Queen nine. Straight draw. Jack nine. Nine seven. Queen jack. Very wet board. Well, 
We have him covered. Let's go for it. This is real thin. Player dependent. Hopefully this works. Let's get that fold or let's suck out and get heads up. Jackson. Thank you, Gabe. This is uh, Poker Tracker 4. Got it 12 years ago. Still works. Uh, a bit of a range bet on this flop. Pretty good board for ace high. The question is, should we bet for protection against straight draws? King 10 does still have a variety of outs against us. And I don't expect him to be bluffing much. And we'd bet this amount with a boat, so we're pretty well protected. He does go for the check rizzle. Not optimal for our hand. Looks like the jig is up. Don't know many hands he's turning into a bluff here. Haven't seen him do anything too creative. So we're gonna fold. Uh, I think this hand is strong enough to trap. Uh, only way this can backfire is if he like checks behind and hits his random jack deuce, jack on the flop. But I think he's more likely to jam a variety of holdings. And we'll snap him off and eliminate him. He did not. He has been less aggressive as of late. Uh, we still beat some value bets. 7x. He would assume is good. Uh, he's already proven that he doesn't like checking back King X. We trapped him with Ace Queen. Remember, and he bet with, uh, he shoved all in with King 6. Uh, he had us out chipped at that time, so it might be slightly different. And he typed in 0.77 the last time he bluffed with that queen 7 on the river. Uh, we do block a lot of the straight draws that just got there. Uh, we might have to just call 3 with 8s here. Kind of a scary situation, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, Jack on the river shouldn't change too much. I still think he has a lot of 7x. Maybe like deuce three of clubs would make sense. Nine eight. Wow. Sucked out his three outer. Okay. Hello, ladies. Set the trap. You guys ready? Trap is set. Okay. Still gonna trap. We do have a straight flush draw. Still trapping. I think I can get more from his bluffs. Then uh, get value owned. Uh, still gonna, still gonna check. If he wants to stab, I think he's just got nothing. I mean, he'll randomly have uh, Jack X, but I think he even thinks about semi bluffing that. Um, sometimes you just gotta stick with the plan. Overbet. Uh, I mean, Jack X, really? I think he's going to bet that at some frequency. 
Uh, so we beat everything but Jack X. I think he always bets a flush on turn or flop. Deuce three offsuit. Very polarized. Trapped him again. Sometimes they just can't help themselves. And let's bust him with the Jack 10. Uh, we will overcall if he calls. Okay. Uh, nine eight seven. Not greedy. All right, he shouldn't have a betting range here. Check check. Nine on the river would be too sweet. Uh, well, hopefully he's got him beat. Uh, I don't see how my... I pretty much have the nut low with Jack High here. Wow, feels like he's going to triple up. This could be tragic. Nothing I can do. King 8, beat King 10, we're heads up. Boom, baby. 20 bigs versus 60 bigs, a little 3 to 1 chip deficit, no problem. We got this. Uh, $2,125 locked up. But we got our eye on the prize, $3,340. Let's get it. Uh, same thing. We're even going to check back our mid pairs, although it's slightly different when we don't have to worry about busting third as compared to second. And we will bluff catch a little bit more as he feels uh, our range is real capped when we check back the flop. Uh, same thing with the river. He has had some tricky river checks. Uh, I was thinking about going for value, but what do we get value from ace high, deuce x? Wow. Goes runner, runner, miracle, and checks the fucking river. Wow. Okay. Similar situation, flop a marginal hand, check it behind. Good turn. Makes it less likely he has a jack. Check it behind. A very good river. Now we can, uh, we're definitely gonna call a bet or bet ourselves. He's probably frustrated I haven't fallen for any of his traps. <laughs> wow. Um, we don't have any time bank. We have one of the best hands we can have in this spot. Oh my god, I went to call! I went to call! No! No! He just never bluffs like that. I've never seen it. Never. Alright, we haven't been stabbing at many flops. Let's try to try to take one with ten high. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think he's ever checking an ace. We could be limping an ace, so let's continue the story. Rep that value. 
horrible river to continue bluffing. I feel like he has 3x here and he's just not going to fold it, so we're not going to bluff at all. Uh, occasionally we will beat some low flush draws, that's the only uh, saving grace. 3x with the flush draw, that's pretty blessed. That is a blessed life, not going to lie. Uh, you know, 120,000 big blind. Uh, kind of scary, he's min-raising here. Guess we just call, try to flop something. That's something. Two blind C-bet, wow, good turn. Good turn. Um, I don't think he's too bluff happy, but he is call happy, so we should go bet, bet, and get value from all of his two pairs. Bet shove to be exact. Wow. It's nothing, huh? Okay. Jack 10's going in. Hit! 10! Non-diamond, big double. Right back in it. There's a flop. Mm, we haven't been leading much, so let's mix it up. River card to bluff, but we have nine high. We could have three seven, we could have three deuce. So we're gonna go for the fake value bet. Hopefully, fold out all of his misdraws because nine high ain't winning this shit. Big bluff. Oh my god, he's got a five. Gross. Sorry for trying. Won't happen again. Alright, he's going to be shoving a lot of Jack-10 type hands here. Probably 60%. Let's hold. Ace-4 suited. Big double incoming. Tournament life on the line. We need an ace. And we're out. Hell of a run. Second place for $2,125. Always bittersweet when you get this far and you don't capture the trophy, but I gave it my all, and that's all she wrote. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the support, all the views, all the comments. Great job, mods, as always. Make sure you sign up on ACR using bonus code BOSKI and hit the follow button. Uh, we're almost at 10,000 followers on Twitch. That's pretty damn good. And make sure you tune in tomorrow night. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Going to get some sleep and we're going to fire a bunch of big buy-ins and ride this momentum into the sunset. I, I smell a five-figure score tomorrow. Let's make it happen. You guys can hang out and witness an incredible journey, which is multi-table tournaments. I'm exhausted, 10 hours playing, almost eight hours streaming. Let's kick it off to another streamer. Appreciate all the support.
Enema.